tourists, adventurous, hikers, paddlers, and uh, general people who want to take power with you wherever you are in the world, whether you're traveling or playing in the outdoors. It's John from Bill and Paul's with another edition of What's Blank Wednesday, and today it's What's Portable Power Wednesday. The outdoor industry has got a variety of brands supplying creative, efficient, and portable ways for you to keep your phone, cooler, lantern, and any device you might be traveling with that's rechargeable going while you're out on your trips. Uh, it can be kind of a swamp and it's a little overwhelming for some, but it's really not that difficult to understand. There's really three components to a system. There's collection there, through the form of solar panels. There's storage through the form of batteries. And then there is applications or usage through your devices, such as your cell phones, rechargeable headlamps and speakers, Fun accessories like lanterns that you can have around your camp, cabin, boat, wherever you might want a little extra lighting. Um, so you can keep all this running as long as we've got the sun. We've been waiting to shoot this episode for a day like today. We finally in West Michigan and summer is here. We've got a lot of great sunshine. So in front of me, let's talk about capture. Solar panels, uh, technology is pretty much the same across the board. What's different is the size of the panel that you're working with. Small amount of energy for small storage units uh, and smaller draw devices such as phones and lanterns 10 watts 20 watts for larger devices such as portable coolers uh, home products such as lamps and lanterns that can be run off of a bigger storage device we've got panels up to 100 watts here at the store we like to keep everything in portable fashion, so these are all designed to be put into a case and, and easily taken with you, set up next to your van or your camper. Uh, so while you're out playing for the day, you can be storing power from the sun, come back and make sure that your uh, stuff in your cooler is still cold at the end of the day. In terms of storage, uh, there are two measurements of the, uh, storage power. In the smaller devices, it's milliamps, and it goes somewhere between 5,000 and 50,000 milliamps. The batteries get bigger and heavier as you go up. The number of charges to phones, tablets, and smaller portable devices, some of the bigger uh, portable batteries will do um, laptops as well. Uh, milliamps is what those smaller devices tend to measure draw in. On the larger sizes, you got generators that go from 500 watts and up and they are measured in watts because these larger devices that draw off of them are rated in watts. So it keeps kind of these two systems separate. We tend to think more people are going to be playing around in this portable fashion. You can take that on your kayak, you can put it on the top of your backpack, you can set it up in camp like I said while you're gone. Um, check out, make sure you look into some of these rechargeable devices. Batteries are bad for the environment, so a lot of these devices you can buy now to replace the battery operated things that you've got headlamps, speakers as I mentioned. And then some of these are just downright fun. They've got their own little panels in them. These are a Lucy light that you can throw in your swimming pool, have on your sailboat, hang around camp. They charge up during the day, they draw while you're using them at night and they just uh, kind of take care of themselves. We've got this cool crush light from Goal Zero doing the same thing. So don't ever be uh, without the phone so you can call for help. Take that classic Instagram shot. Don't miss the uh, fun parts of your trip. Uh, keep those things charged wherever you are. Portable Power brought to you by all these great brands and Bill and Paul's. So we will see you next week on another version of What's Blank Wednesday.